What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. My grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, and he's never forgotten that. But a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the Vale. Nothing good happens that way. I'm picking up a transmission. You need the transmission. You need to hear this. along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know- Through their respect. should be able to climb higher.
They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. somehow.
Ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil. To kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley. Armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this 
is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance.
Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit. Of course. She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Navi. I just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. These bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Yvonne and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith. 
safe, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. Right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Hello there. Many of our people worked the mines for the Soviets. Even after we drove them out, they died of a strange sickness. Hello there. You've seen the mine by the old Soviet facility? Many of our people died there. use you. Hello there. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. I'm here to help. What can I do? Our first task is to learn all we can about the invaders. We need any information you can gather in the old prison. I won't lie to you, it will be dangerous. But that information is worth the risk. Will you help us? I'll head there as soon as I'm able. I'll be here. And... thank you.
you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. Damien, any the Prophet's Forge. Gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this... normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just... stay safe. Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must...
probably Russian. It looks like these markings point to a nearby location, but I can't piece it together. been able to find anything yet, but I'll keep looking. That chemical from Grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical Grandmother's recipe mentioned. But I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Soviet soldiers. Something awful happened here. I think about Dad. 